and welcome to jobskillshare.org in this video we will install uh, server 2016 on a USB so what do I have right here I have a old server right here uh, that we need to basically uh, restart with a USB and, and do the installation but there's a lot of problems when you uh, do USB installation on servers um, so uh, this is an old server so I'm not using a new server I'm going to explain that a little bit later on but let's get started how you are going to get the ISO first so we're gonna go get the 2000 server uh, ISO you'll click on it you'll sign in with your Microsoft account you'll click on ISO and register to continue okay so once you click on continue you can click on download or it will start automatic download on the bottom right here as you can see is a big file 6.5 GB so your USB needs to be pretty much bigger than that um, 16 GB is fine even more than a little bit less than that would be fine I'm using actually a 250 uh, stick I'll show it to you in a second uh, so uh, I'm gonna wait for it to download all right as you can see the server ISO is downloaded now what you need to do is you need to go to this site RUFU.AKEOIE. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. I mean, of course, I can't even pronounce it correctly. <laughs> so, you need to go to this site. It is a secure site. Uh, you're going to click on this. You just need to come down and click on 2.11. And then you need to open this. I already have it, so I'm just going to open it one more time just to show you guys the process. Now, Here's a little tricky thing that uh, this USB is pretty big as you guys can see and then there's some default setup that it's picked up automatically. So we need to choose uh, different settings. So what we need to do here, we need to uh, click on the, this one, the first one. As you can see when you click on it, this is uh, enabled now so what we need to do is to go to and click on the ISO that we just downloaded we'll go to our I think it's in D Drive server 2016 and this is the one right here so I'm gonna click that and then you see it automatically changes the settings itself because it picks up so then you need to pick on this standard window installation uh, and then make sure this is MBR partition scheme for BIOS or UEFI so this is kinda like if you have an old system it will work with that and if you have a new system it might work with that I haven't tried this one I'm pretty sure this will work with the old system which I'm going to try that and what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and click on start right here and then we'll click on OK and it is going to start that process and once this is done it will say complete we'll take the USB out and we'll put it in server and then we'll test it for some weird reason my copy failed so I'm still gonna because it it really failed right at the end which is really not a great thing to do to take the USB out and now installing a server but I'm just gonna give it a try see what happens that's the reality of this job you know when you're working and you find new things so let's try it so this is a server, old server, very old, as you can see T7400 and I'm going to plug in the USB, there you go, and I'm going to go ahead and restart the server and click on F12. And please don't kill me and I, you know this monitor has been with me for so many years I just can't let it go I got the new monitor right here and it's a pretty big one but I can't let go of this monitor you know it's still working I, I don't have that kind of money so we got a USB device plugged in let's go ahead and click on that oh look at that it is starting to upload files and let's see 
remember it failed over here like on this uh, screen it's telling me that it's failed so it's not a good thing because you know if something is corrupted you're gonna have a bad result over here so I won't recommend this but I don't know if you try it maybe you will get a successful message and uh, if everything went went through then that tells you that at least it's booting up and it's working so that's uh, the case for 2016 so once it's done uh, I'm going to finish the installation and check out everything on the server and see if it's working there you go it's restarting 2016 all right so far good Windows Server 2016 so let's go ahead and click on install we'll click next install now man this is so pretty I'm going to pick the last one that gives you a graphical uh, feature so we're gonna go ahead and click on next I'm going to accept the license and then click on next we'll go to custom this is my space this is all SSD it's pretty fast so we're gonna go ahead and click on all of it I'm going to install on top of that I'm gonna click on OK and it's installing uh, the whole installation for Windows 2016 server and just to kind of you know show some love for SSD if this was a normal hard drive trust me this will not go like this this will be really slow all right seems like it's almost done there you go restart the server we're gonna go ahead okay starting again we'll restart one more time so there you go after that I gave the password and then I see the all control delete and if I do all control delete it will ask me for that same password I'm gonna go ahead and give that Please wait. And here it is guys, we have a full 2016 server uh, ready uh, and uh, it was a pretty weird way of installing this. Of course you're not doing this in a production environment. You would be checking that installation uh, like 10 times to make sure that you don't get this type of error. Um, and that was a test for us, you know, so don't kill me that oh, this is not how you install and blah 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 This was just a demo lab test uh, Using that software so if you can figure this out that maybe after doing it again This was just one-time error and it don't come back up like that and everything is done So you can see everything worked pretty nice and I'll see if there's any issues. I will update you guys with that uh, but again, uh, it's up to you you can uh, play around with this uh, way or there are other better ways you guys can do it this is a very easy way to do it without any command line or doing anything with the uh, ISO just drop it in there so that's it guys uh, thank you for watching this raw live lab demo